Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there and just stay there. Pay careful attention to the breath. If you notice the breath is uncomfortable, if long breathing feels too long, you can shorten it. Make it deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Find what rhythm of breathing feels good for the body right now. Energizing if you're feeling tired. Cooling if you're feeling hot. Relaxing if you're feeling tense. The breath can do all kinds of things for you if you pay it careful attention, if you listen carefully to what the body has to say. You may have noticed that we do a lot of bowing down around here. It's because, as the Buddha said, having a sense of respect and also a sense of humility is a, is a blessing to you. It's a blessing to you because it reminds you that you have things inside yourself that are worthy of respect, and you also have some things inside yourself that are not worthy of respect. And so you have to be very careful about what you pay attention to inside your own mind. And the Buddha is teaching us to pay respect to things that deserve respect. Our desire to find happiness that's harmless, a happiness that's lasting, asking a happiness that has no blame with it at all. All too many people go through life looking for happiness. They don't care about the consequences as long as they get what they want. But part of what makes us human beings is that we notice that our actions have consequences. And we realize that if our happiness depends on other people's suffering, it's not going to last. And it's not fair. So we, with that sense of fairness, with that sense of responsibility, we look for happiness in a way that causes no harm to anyone else at all. And that's, a res that's something in ourselves that is re worthy of respect. And the Buddha points out the way being generous, being virtuous, meditating to get the mind to be mindful, concentrated, and to develop your discernment. All of these things are worthy of respect. At the same time, we have to admit that we have some tendencies inside that are not worthy of respect. We have to be humble about those. It's not like we're already awakened. There's still a lot of greed, aversion, and delusion in there. So you have to be humble about that. What this comes down to is having the right attitude to learn, realizing that you have some good qualities and there are other people who would w want to help you in your pursuit of your good qualities. But you also have some unskillful qualities, so you have to be careful about them. You want to learn about how to gain some control over them. So this attitude of respect is what opens the heart, opens the mind, so that good things can come flowing in. As the Buddha said, it's a lot easier to teach people who show respect, not only because you f the teacher feels like teaching people who show respect, but also it's going to be better for the person listening. That's why this is said to be a blessing. You're blessing yourself. We're talking about the Buddha being a blessed one. Well, he blessed himself. Here's your chance to bless yourself by having an attitude of respect for things inside that are worthy of respect and being humble about the areas where you still need to do work. In this way, we open ourselves to all the good things that the human beings can attain. We close off a lot of avenues to areas where nobody would really in their right mind would want to go, and yet we sometimes go there because we have our attitudes about respect all screwed up. So we try to develop an attitude of respect for your desire for true happiness, a happiness that doesn't harm anybody, doesn't harm you, doesn't harm the people around you. And that way you bless yourself every day.